I've said what I needed to say. I think you can work the rest out with your parents. Where's Michael? He's at the boat shack. He says he wants to stay. Did you tell him he wasn't a suspect anymore? Yeah, it didn't matter. Fine. You might as well hear it from me. Michael's innocent. So does my mother. I was the one who forced Claudia off the road. I was driving without a license. I got in a fight with my boyfriend and I was crying. It was stupid and I'm sorry. This is where you lay into me for ruining Michael's life. Everybody makes mistakes. It's how you face up to them that counts. Would you guys do make notes? N never mind. I have to go. Wait a minute. Chrissy, don't Please. worry. I'm not going to run away. I just have to figure something out. Thank you. For not laying in to her with both feet. Because I have a feeling when she gets home, things are going to get a lot worse. Hey, Brian. Hey. Hey. Good news. You decided to come home with us? I still have a job. That creep and his skanky girlfriend must have been too freaked out by Jason to uh, report me. You don't have to stay here. My mom confessed to causing Claudia's accident. Yeah, I know. Jason told me. You realize this means that I'm the one who did it and my mom's just covering for me? That's good, I guess. Not when I have to see her face to face. Please, Michael. Don't make me go back there and deal with my mom and dad alone. All right, now what? If we go home without Michael, Sonny, and Carly are going to have a complete meltdown, not to mention the jacks. I can't force them to leave. Really, I mean, not to put a fine point on it, but um, I, I think you can, because Michael totally adores you. He'll do anything you say, not to mention he is a minor, and um, I don't think he's really good at the independent thing for a lot of reasons. And if, if Sonny and Carly come down here to Cancun to find him, Michael, if he runs off, he can get himself into a lot no, of trouble. If, if I force him to come back, then he runs away again. That's why it has to be his decision. I can sort of see why he likes it down here. It's sort of like a close second to Hawaii. Well, I did uh, I did call for the jet. Okay. It's going to take a little while, so if, if you want, you can go down to the water and take a swim. I'm tempted. I am, but, you know, I, I could just settle for maybe a walk on the beach. Go ahead. Okay. Um, but your leg is is kind of hurt, so maybe we could just sit on the sand and you know, watch the water or something. Okay. Sounds great. <laughs> up again or talk really loud when we're walking Jason down and I the were hall. just discussing whether or not we should take a walk on the beach or wait for you guys to come here. Oh, is that what they call it? Well, you're here now. We should get going unless you came to say goodbye. I... When we get back, we can't tell anyone we saw Jerry or that I was shot. Why not? Because my mom. She's not supposed to be upset while she's pregnant, so, I mean, if she found out that Jason got shot, especially by Jerry, she'd flip out. So we just won't tell Carly? No, we just won't tell anybody. So you're just going to let it go? 
that Jerry shot you? Just until the baby's born. Don't you think your mom's under enough stress? Yeah. Please, Chrissy. Look, I've been so unfair to my mom. I'd like to do one thing right for her. Fine, I won't say anything. And I'll give my mom one less thing to melt down about. Thank you. That was weird. I think that's the first time you've thanked me for anything. I told you you walked in on something. I think they got back together. We're going home to face the music, and all you can think about is their love life. Dude, that is such a girl thing to do. I'm just saying, when two people think it's over, it doesn't have to be.